Let's talk about uh, pre and post money valuation. This is a, really a fundamental concept around uh, financing and valuation uh, of companies. Financing being when you're going to raise money for your company. Uh, valuation, of course, being how much is your company worth. Those concepts uh, are important concepts because it has to do with how much of your company you need to sell in the case of an equity financing, uh, meaning how many shares do you need to sell in order to raise money from investors. Uh, of course, if you are the founder or the owner of shares currently, you want to sell as few shares as possible to raise as much money as possible. Well, that all depends on what's called the pre and post money valuation. Uh, so we'll talk about those really quickly. The concept of pre and post money has to do with how much is my company worth before funding and then how much is my company worth after funding. So pre-money is going to be one thing. Amount raised is going to be another, meaning how much money am I raising. And then post money will be the third post money value. So the essential relationship here is that pre-money means how much is my company worth before I raise money from an investor. And essentially pre-money valuation is just the conclusion that my investor, investor and I reach before the funding event to say how much is my company worth. Um, I may make an argument, there's various ways to do that, uh, but in this case let's say that your company is worth one million dollars, one million pre-money, before the funding event. Uh, and I'm trying to go out and raise a certain amount of money. Uh, in this case, I'm going to raise $500,000. So if I'm raising $500,000 and my pre-money is a million, you add these two numbers together to get your post-money valuation. So in this case, my post-money val valuation is $1.5 million. The reason is, it's the same company. Um, the day before I sign the documents to, to sell some shares and raise some money, uh, as it is after. But in this case, now I have $500,000 more in the bank. Uh, so my post money, my valuation afterwards, is $1.5 million. This is important because it establishes how much your company's worth and how much of your company you're going to have to sell uh, and how many shares in order to raise this amount of money. Now, of course, if you change to this amount, if you raise, let's say, a million dollars, then the post money valuation becomes $2 million. Now if I'm an investor who paid $500,000 to invest in your company, and the company after investment is worth $1.5 million, that means I own 33% of the company here. Okay. Now if I put in a million dollars on the same pre-money valuation, and at the end the company is worth $2 million, I own 50% in this case. So pre-money valuation really uh, has to do with how much pre and post money have to do with how much of your company you're going to have to give away uh, if, when you raise money. Really quickly, I'll give you one more example just to show you kind of the power of pre-money valuation and why driving your valuation up is so important for uh, entrepreneurs, for any business owner. Um, let's say my company is worth $10 million pre-money, not a million like our last example, and I raised 500000 or I raise one million, one or the other. In this case, we're going to add them together. It's worth 10.5 million. And in this case, we'll add them together. It's worth 11 million. So 10 million, 500,000, 10.5 million. If I own $500,000, I get uh, 121st of this company. So it's slightly less than 5%. Um, this is I, I can't do this math, I'm terrible at math, but it's less than 5% of the company. So you gave away a very small amount to raise the same uh, amount that we used in the last example. In this case, I own 1 11th uh, of the company, so this is slightly less than 10%. Uh, I can't, you know, geez, it's, it's embarrassing that I can't do that math. It's less than 10% here. So I own 1 11th of the company because I put in a million and now it's worth 11 million. So you can, you can see the higher the pre-money valuation is that, that you only have to give away a teeny tiny amount of your company to raise money. 
Um, that's why it's always in the investor's best interest, I'm sorry, it's always in the entrepreneur's best interest to argue that the pre-money valuation is really high, and your investors will always argue that the pre-money value, uh, value is very low. Um, but setting that pre-money and raising money is really what establishes post-money. Uh, this relationship is very important uh, when you go to raise money. You should definitely understand this concept around uh, the concept of valuation.